sausage gravy, homemade. It's off. Turned it off after it started boiling. Now I'm just scraping the sides to make sure nothing gets burnt. To go with the biscuits in the oven. And what I'll do is I'll spray this on the top when they start getting a little hard crusty on the top of the biscuits gives it that nice buttery taste without the butter calories when you take your wire whatever this is called and you're stirring it around the pan's bottom you can usually get a feel for whether if the gravy is sticking or not. Like right here it's sticking just a little bit, but everywhere else I feel gravy against pan, stainless steel. But right here it just sticks just a tad. Look at that creaminess. See that creaminess? Sausage gravy. I use stainless steel pans and I use cast iron. Cast iron. Well, this is Kathleen and I'm sorry I didn't start this from the very beginning. I'm so used to making this stuff up took me maybe 15 minutes maybe I think I don't even know doesn't take that long it was um, two tablespoons this is what I used two tablespoons of bacon grease that I've collected and refrigerated uh, two and a half cups of milk I take the milk I put it into a canning jar or jar put some distilled water or whatever water you have and I shake it up so it's without lumps and I don't add salt because um, there's already salt in the sausages there's already salt in the sausages and milk has a little bit of salt in it so you get I think one gets plenty of salt I hardly ever add salt to my food I'll add it maybe as it after when it's on my plate it doesn't taste too salty can't taste the salt but I replace salt with uh, herbs like uh, Mrs. Dash for right now until I find something even more natural fat-free garlic and herb and I have another one that's just lemon and pepper I like that a lot but we don't want our gravy tasting like lemon or herbs or um, garlic today just good old sausage and I know I said bacon grease but you really can't tell. I mean, there's, I mean, they all come from the same animal. But uh, you really can't tell. Besides, I need to use up the bacon grease, and I had some leftover sausage patties, and I didn't want anything to go bad. So I used it up, and we're going to have biscuits and gravy today. Thanks for. Uh, hearing me out sorry if I sorry be, that I didn't start this from the beginning but like I said there's all the ingredients your sausage or your bacon you can make it with either some of the grease from the, the grease drippings two and a half cups of milk uh, oh I forgot the flour um, a quarter cup of flour sorry quarter cup of flour in a jar with some water shake it up uh, pour it in there well, pour your milk in first, okay, so the bread doesn't, the bready water, the flour in the water doesn't start to um, form on, in your pan. So you've, you've got your grease drippings, you've got your meat crumbs, 
you put your two and a half cups of milk in there stir them around <clears throat> put your quarter cup of flour in a jar mix it up with some water pour it in there and then all you do is just stir just stir okay that's time for the biscuits to come out bye y'all All right, what I did was I I took the biscuits out when the timer went off. It was uh, 15 minutes and I sprayed I sprayed this on them. Put them in the oven to crispen up. These are those flaky buttermilk biscuits, you know, by um who is it by? Um, it is by Pillsbury. 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 Yep. Pillsbury. <laughs> gotcha. Okay. See how nice and thick that's getting? Okay, so another minute or two with the biscuits. Then I'm going to turn them over if they haven't browned on the other side, and I'll cover them, spray them some more. All right. They're ready. I tasted it. Taste sausagey. There are the biscuits. I'm going to after my school work is school studies are done I'm going to start st practicing making biscuits homemade biscuits so we can freeze them up and use my kind of flour and my ingredients there you are biscuits and gravy see this one over here is already broken a little bit so, they browned up nicely. And I'll put some gravy over that. Ouch. I don't know how they do it with one hand. I'll get some butter. you go so I can have breakfast. It's a good thing I don't eat this stuff a lot. Ooh. Unhealthily, unhealthily good for you. Good comfort food. Though I don't need it, but I just have a craving for it. And I'm not a biscuit and gravy person, so <clears throat> I will get some gravy, move that out of the way, slop some gravy on there, could be creamier. And it will be when I let it sit more, but being that I'm taking it off right now because I'm hungry. There you have it. Bon appetit. Bye bye.